Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on Venn diagram. It says that uh, there was a survey conducted among 360 people to determine their preference among three soap brands, Duck, Eagle and Falcon. And some information is given to us. Based on it, we need to find out that how many people liked which combination of soaps. So, since it's a three set Venn diagram, so let us make the diagram. This is D, this is E, this is F. So, there are a total of 360 people. And the number of people who like only falcon is twice the number of people who like only duck. So let us say only duck is x. So only falcon will be 2x. The number of people who like all three products is 8.33%. 8.33% means 1 by 12. <clears throat> so 1 by 12 of 360 is 30. So all three is 30. While the number of people who like both duck and eagle but not falcon, both duck and eagle but not falcon, this value is the same as the number of people who like both duck and falcon but not eagle. Both duck and falcon but not eagle. So let us say this value is y. So this value is also y. Okay. So both these values are equal. Next information is out of the people who like falcon the number of people who like exactly one of the other brands is the same as the number of people who like the other two brands so this is an important condition to understand what does it try to say it says that these are the people who like falcon okay and it says that <clears throat> the number of people who like exactly one of the other brands now one of the other brands could be this category or that category. So let us put this value as z. So it says the number of people who like exactly one of the other brands. So that is y plus z is the same as the number of people who like the other two brands. So the number of people who like exactly one of the other brands is the same as the number of people who like the other two brands. So these are the people who like other two brands. So this statement means y plus z is 30. Okay, so this is an, this is the most important statement uh, to understand in this given information. The number of people who do not like any of the given products is the same as the number of people who like both eagle and falcon but not duck. Eagle and falcon but not duck. So we've assumed this to be z. So this value is also z. Uh, the number of people who like only eagle is 25% less than the number of people who like only falcon. Only falcon is 2x, so 25% less means 1.5x. So this is 1.5x. Right now, uh, there is at least one person who likes none of the brands. So that means z is greater than or equal to 1. Z cannot be 0. So this is the entire piece of information that we have. And now let us try to find out can we find the values of x, y, or z? <coughs> Now we know that y plus z is 30. So we have 2y, y here and again y here, 2y and 2z. So 30 plus 30 is 60. So the grand total is 360. We can say that x, 1.5x and 2x, that is 4.5x plus 2x, 2y plus 2z plus 30 equals 360. Okay, so this part will be equal to 60 because y plus z is 30, this will be 60. Now we get 4.5x equals 270. So this means x equal to 60. So we can find the value of x. So substituting the value of x, we get 60. This will be 120 and this value is going to be 90. Okay, so this we have solved. Now y and z will depend and we know the relation that the total is 30. So now let us look at the questions and see how we can answer them. Find the difference between the number of people who like only eagle and only falcon. So only eagle is 90 and only falcon is 120. So the difference is 30. 
how many people like eagle now you must be thinking that y plus z is present but we know that y plus z is 30 so we have 30 plus 90 plus 30 more that is 150 people what can be the maximum number of people who like duck so if we find the number of people who like duck it is 2y plus 90 now we have to find the maximum number now 90 is a fixed number we need to find the maximum value of 2y or basically the maximum value of y now if you have to find the maximum value of y then z should be minimum because if you have to maximize one thing the other thing should be minimized so minimum z we can put as 1 and maximum y we can put as 29 z has to be at least one it says that there is at least one person who likes none of the brands so we will have 2y that is 58 plus 90 the answer is going to be 148 what can be the minimum number of people who like at least two brands so we need to find the minimum number of people liking at least two brands so at least two brands are these people and their count is 30 plus 2y plus z Now one important thing to consider here is we need to find the minimum value okay now the coefficient of y is 2 so if you put minimum value of z this will become high value but if you put minimum value of y this will be low value because y is being multiplied by 2 here now in this scenario we know that the minimum value of z is given as 1 but for y there is no minimum constraint given so we can put y is equal to 0 and z equal to 30. So if you put y equal to 0 and z 30, we get the minimum number as 60. Remember that there is no such information saying that y has to be a positive number. For z it is given that it has to be at least 1 but nothing for y. So that is why the answer is 60. <coughs> Which of the following statements is definitely false? The difference between the number of people who like eagle and falcon is 30. So how many people like eagle? Uh, falcon is 150 plus y plus z that is 180 and eagle is 120 90 plus 30 120 plus y plus z that is 150 so the difference is 30 it is not false the number of people who like exactly two brands equals the number of people who like all the brands now in this case we did the same thing exactly two brands 30 why 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 we put zero so z is 30 two brands and this is this is the number of people who like three brands so this is also possible right it is saying definitely false it is not always true but is a possibility the number of people who like duck and eagle is the same so duck we have the number as <coughs> 90 plus 2y and eagle the number is 120 okay so eagle uh, we just sorry eagle is 150 okay eagle is 150 and duck is 90 plus 2y now if we go to the maximum possible of y value of y which is 29 so even if you put the value of 29 we will be able to get only 148 148 is the max number of people who like duck. So it, is, it can never be equal to the number of people that like eagle. <clears throat> it will be always less than that. So this is the false statement. If you wish to check the last one, the number of people who like falcon is double the number of people who like duck. So falcon is 180. So we need to prove that duck is, uh, duck is 90. Okay, falcon is 180. So for duck equal to 90, we will put y equal to 0. So that will make duck equal to 90. So this is possible. Okay. These, this is true. These are two possibly, these can be possibly true in one special case. But this is definitely a false statement. Hence that is the answer to this question. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. <coughs>